There is a soul in Seattle. I've touched this soul. I've seen this soul. I've experienced some joy here. Amidst all the pain. Amidst all the... The watching days. Watching the overcast. Watching the seasons turn. I've had some happiness here. I've seen some things, experienced some things. Came into contact with a few people. Had some moods, had some moments. Had some loves, had some lusts. As much as I've wanted to leave, as much as I've wanted to Go and never come back. I've had some bad days and some good days. But there is a soul here in Seattle. I can't deny that there's not it's just the chagrin that I feel when I think of the Seattle freeze when I think of these progressive liberals and their double standards when I think of these elitists But Seattle has taught me some things. Seattle has taught me a lot about life. Not to my joy, but through my suffering. Taught me that pain is relative. Taught me that people are doing their best in their own way, maybe. Taught me that fear is a motivator. Taught me that there's respite in the crowd, for better or for worse. Much the opposite of my individualism, of my strong individual spirit, individualistic spirit. Seattle has taught me that there's evil all over the world. And maybe my bubble of safety as a child was too idealistic to carry over into adult life. I learned these things as I watched the the rainy days, the overcast, bumping my head against the wall of my circumstances. Kicking against the goads. Fighting against the, the road that was prescribed for me. Much pain, much isolation, much loneliness. How much understanding have I gained? How much of who I was have I lost? Questions with no answers. Once upon a poet was I. And now... Now I don't know. So much I have not known. So many mistakes.
such that I've reaped of which I've sown. Every day, just getting through. Seattle has taught me some things. Seattle has taught me about life. And there is a soul in Seattle. And I've touched that soul. <laughs>